Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Souls 3, where in this episode I finally managed to download the Ring City. Yeah, I didn't forget this time around. However, before we do our duty and head to the Ring City, I feel like there's some stuff we need to take care of here. I don't think I'm going to fight the Nameless King right now. I'll probably come back later because I really want to get to the Ring City. And if I get bogged down on the Nameless King, then it's going to basically take up this entire episode, which, again, I want Ring City, man, because it's actually been quite a while since I played that DLC. Anyways, uh, regarding my internet situation, which probably most people are wondering about, it's going to get fixed tomorrow. Uh, it's okay now. Uh, you know, we called them and they did some, like, recalibration uh, via the phone for the router that they brought however uh, they need to calibrate it um, in person that was a stupid move so yeah oh, the critical so they need to calibrate it and honestly it's gotten a lot better but the problem comes when there's like two kind of strenuous activities taking place at the same time. For example, I'm playing a game online while... Oh yeah, you just run away from him when he has this. I say as I'm clearly not running away from him. Uh, so yeah, like... Multiple... Does my weapon track this much? It probably does, actually. Uh, so yeah, it cannot handle like multiple strenuous activities because something is wrong with it and apparently it's like prioritizing whichever device first connects to it. So yeah, it gets bogged down and the other ones get low bandwidth, which is what my problem was with streaming. So yeah, <clears throat> so probably in terms of the actual next stream for realsies this time, I promise. Is gonna be Friday because uh, I promised the stream and I don't want to wait until Saturday entirely. And well, tomorrow they're gonna come and fix it, hopefully. Oh, wonderful! I did not know that could happen. Now, all I'm curious about is whether these things can climb ladders or not. It looks like they can't. But tomorrow I'm going to be pretty busy in the evening, so that's why I'm not going to be able to stream. And on Thursday, I'm traveling abroad just for a day. I cannot believe I did not manage to get the backstab. So, yeah, ouch. I keep overcommitting. That's my problem. 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 Oh, does it just, like, not take damage when he has that on? That is cheapo. That is very cheap. So, yeah, I'm actually gonna stay away from him. Wait, he can fat roll in that? What about now, bitch? Why <laughs> he's so quick? All of a sudden... Fuck, man, he's putting up a fight. Pro pvp -er. This is a problem. What the hell? Wait, he can... Is he fast rolling? That is cheap. Havel shouldn't be fast rolling. Damn. That was not worth it at all for the fucking dragon tooth. And the titanite slab. Well, actually, kinda. It's just something I always do. It's part of every playthrough. Kill Havel. I just did a Neo input there, by the way. Um, definitely gonna pop back to the bonfire because I'm fucked in terms of Estus. <clears throat> Hopefully this is not gonna take too much. 
because I really do want to get to the ringed city. Well, I have to do all these like cutscene shit before it as well because I've not unlocked the kiln of the first flame yet. But yeah, at least, again, at least my internet has gotten to the point where I can, like, play online, and man, it's good that... Because when it's working, I mean, it's fast. It's just, it's a different issue. It's a calibration issue. Because now I'm getting... 100 megabytes of download and 100 upload, and I'm gonna get... Okay... I'm gonna get a better router, one that can handle um, what you call it. Because basically the setup is I have... Oh, fuck. The setup is that there's a main router in the living room that actually gets the internet. And then there's one in my room because I have a lot of devices, you know. And so that we don't have to, like, run four cables, you know, three actually, from the living room <clears throat> to my place. I have another one that basically just acts as a, a splitter for the internet. Which is what they... Oh, motherfucker, this encounter. Which is where the calibration issue was, but it turns out there's also... Oh, I hate this. There you go, eat shit. Um, but there's also an issue with how they calibrated the main m router, because... Yeah, it's just how it is. Luckily, they're doing this shit for free, because... Otherwise, that would be... That would be a rip-off. You know. And then once again, once I get like a proper router in my room, I'm going to be running. Well, the guaranteed minimum is 300 megabytes of download, which technically for stuff like streaming, it doesn't matter. Uh, streaming and YouTube and all that is all about upload speed. But yesterday, again, it was working. And well, not even yesterday, because yesterday I uploaded like a 10 minute video, but... Before that, when I last uploaded, like, the real, like, last Neo episode, I love this. This is so cool. This giant dragon. Yeah. Praise the dragon. This is such a, like, this is the stuff I want in my Souls games. Like, not overly explained lore. Just some, like, cool, mysterious shit that makes you speculate. Like, was this carved into that mountain? A la, you know, I'm totally blanking on the name, Mount Rushmore. So yeah, was this like made Ru Mount Rushmore style or were the dragons, like the ancient dragons, were they actually this big? Because that would be absolutely insane. So yeah, this is kind of the cool shit I want in my Souls games. And it's so cool that you, you cannot even see it from here. Like you can kind of make out that there's something there, but the clouds obscure it so yeah gg's on this from soft more stuff like this in the next games instead of throwback characters you know what it's time for it is time for the rain city i'm cautiously optimistic that with this ops build i'm gonna be able to take on the challenges of the rain city because the Ring City, let me tell you, it does not fuck around, especially boss-wise. Like, seriously, it does not. So my hope is, again, that I'm OP enough to do this. Oh, please tell me I'm OP enough. Alright, what do we even have to do? Oh, we have to place the ashes, yeah, yeah. I got you. Yorm. Proving that he does have a normal, regular face. 
What does this guy say in the late game like this? I don't even know. I failed to thank you. Oh yeah, he does this and he goes hollow, right? I pity the sorry souls. Is that yeah, because he is a member of the Undead Legion as well. I already placed theirs. Why did I place theirs and not the others? It must be like some stupid Mr. Sketchhead shit where I just did, you know, whatever. Alright. Okay, you're... Thank fuck for teleportation. Very convenient. Oh, and she's walking. Oh, because I placed Aldrich. That is an ugly ass skull. This is a cool scene. I like this one. This one gets a pass. What up, girl? Should be kneeling before me, because you know, me being the Dark Lord and all that. Alright. I like this cutscene. Surrender your fire to the true air. I mean, one thing they for sure have gotten better at is particle effects. Because honestly, Dark Souls 1 had shit particle effects. But then again, you know, next generation console and all that. And man, Sekiro is looking really good, speaking of. I'm super hyped for that game. Even though, you know, some people I know are pissed about the no character progression, no RPG elements. But, you know, it's going to be a different game. And, I, again, I am super hyped. Yeah, spread that shit on my crown. She's pouring dandruff on my head. What an asshole. Let him grant death. To the old gods of Lord. Deliverers of the first flame. Ain't gonna happen yet. We're gonna take a little detour. Even though technically, you know, the Ring City is for sure like post game content. The two levels I get from what's his name, the Soul of Cinder, are not gonna matter, probably. All right, like this. There it is. There's so many fucking bonfires here. All right, let's go. Travel to the drag heap. So essentially, my understanding lore-wise is that we get transported to the end of time, essentially. Not like the very, very end, because that happens at the end of the Rain City, but sort of towards the end. Alright. <clears throat> because there's like some weird 
Katamari shit going on and the whole world is being pulled together into one. I mean, visually, this is very cool. How did you get here? I mean, can't blame you, honestly. Well, that came out of I have business. I have bitches with you. She really loves that stone humped. She must have thought of that, of that a while ago. Sleep. Been waiting to use that joke. You still sell shit. Nothing good, to be fair. Split leave great sword. But hey, why not? Keep your marvels intact, love. At least until I lose mine. GG's, thanks for the what you call it. Nice of Gale to place these. Obviously, it was Gale. Otherwise, this section would be very difficult. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, I think we're good, at least weapon-wise. And great hammers... Oh, you deal a lot of damage. Great hammers are so broken. It's all good, though. We want broken shit. Pretty much I'm all about broken at this point. What up? I have forgotten like half the enemies in this DLC. Not gonna lie. This is such a Neo enemy. Like this is the most Neo thing to freak out into falling over or something like that. That is what, like, all the ogre enemies do in Neo, and all the large enemies. God damn, you have a lot of HP. But not enough. Why do I even have a shield on? Sometimes I look at it, I see it, and I wonder. But hey, maybe the one situation, I'm not going to de-equip it because you know, knowing my luck, there would be like one very specific thing where it would come in handy and I'm not going to have it and I'm going to be pissed off if that happens. This is the one you can't get, yeah. You can get it. I thought it fell farther away. I don't know why. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh. Okay, that's crazy. I forgot that happened. I was, I was gonna say, when is that gonna happen? Well, right now. I don't think so. And here comes... Dark Souls Stealth. You know, it's like, when I look at sections like this, and then look at Sekiro, that's why I feel like they really wanted to make a stealth game all along. I mean, Sekiro is not gonna be stealth, I think you just have the option because they've tried to integrate a section like this into a lot of these Souls games. I mean, Demon Souls infamously with the dragon. Uh, the dragon was bullshit. 
Everybody knows, and we have this asshole. Oh, I forgot he triggers the other one. Oh, with this kind of damage, maybe it don't matter. Maybe it do. Oh, the shield. Oh, no. So I can break Havel's guard, but not this fool's. Oh, that would have been... That would have been very cool. If I hit that parry. He drops... Wait. No, I don't know if he drops the banner. I think he might get the banner somewhere else. It's basically a shield that has a different weapon art. That's the deal with that. I don't think so. I don't remember what's in here, but I know this is not where you have to go. Still. Worth a look, I think. Murky Longstaff. Oh yeah, that's the... That's a sorcery catalyst, isn't it? Yeah, because these guys just keep spawning here. Endlessly, I think. So, you know. Better get the hell out of dodge. One thing I never managed to do, though, and I might try, is there's apparently a Patches questline in this area. So, you know, let's try and... Oh, fuck. It's a shame you never find out more about these things. Like, what the hell they are. No lore on them. You see that avoidance? Did you see that non-avoidance? Oh shit. I think so. They have friendly fire. I can't believe he staggers this easily. <laughs> Look at that is such a neo attack. But actually This did come out after Neo, didn't it? Wait, hold on. I like all kinds of fucked up on my game release dates. Cause Neo was 2017, like February, I think. Where is Patches, that motherfucker? There he is, somewhere. More importantly, give me my bonfire. This fucking, I swear, this controller. It's not be me being an idiot, it's legit my controller. I know that's some DSP shit to say, but I promise you. Uh, he... He's not here, is he? I think he's a little bit further ahead, maybe. Shit. I don't know. Cause boy, the boy wanna do quest lines, even though I don't think he actually does anything interesting this time around. All right, take cover. Very nice of this angelic turret to. Not pick, not pick and choose its targets. All right. 
Oh, hello. Imagine if this guy killed me. I think that would be a signal for me to quit this game. I'm only kidding, of course. What up, mushrooms? Oh, it's throwing that shit on me. It curses you. Wait, am I safe here? I'm just running out here into the open like an idiot. No, I'm not. Wonderful. Luckily, the bloom is too high on his weapon and he can't do much. Oh, how do you do this? forgotten how to do this aside from in general oh in general just running I think if you like just go and run it cannot hit you again aim assist is probably turned off Here we come to probably the most annoying NPC in the game. Not gonna lie. Ten Estus, we should be... Oh, did I? Did I fuck this up? No. Dark Souls platforming for you. I happen to be an expert. This is not even an NPC, it's just a... Well, it kind of is, but just kind of put her here and holy shit, I'm not looking forward to this. We need to aggro these little bitches. Her little gym slaves. Oh, yes, please miss. I'm fucked, aren't I? Yes, I am. I just hit oh. heal she can heal as well I just remembered why I hate her Zoe or whatever chug frozen bitch oh yeah and why oh. There is no whip in the game that does this much damage, aside from hers. Yeah, out of Estus, and I'm not. This guy have like max casting speed, right? Down you go. Flame fan. Which is actually a fairly good spell, I think. Seem to remember it being fairly good. And the turret is still here. Which is, to be fair, kind of a dick thing. To put one of these things after it. Really, really difficult NPC. Oh shit. This is chaos. How am I not dead? Don't ask me. I'm pretty sure this is not the right way. But it does lead to being able to destroy one of these things. And they don't respawn either. So it's all good. What up? That's the hole. The Great Hollow Witch. Which is where our last Dark Souls 3 playthrough stopped. Uh, at this junction right here. Because I got to the fucking demon princes, I, I couldn't beat them. Just straight up couldn't. I was using a 
a long sword, I think. I don't remember, but it was something shitty by Dark Souls 3 standards. Of course, I had pyromancies, which, you know, you can guess how much that helps in a boss like this. And I, I, can't, I just couldn't do it. I tried everything. So, hopefully... And it was not just like me having an off day and rage quitting or something like that. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah. It was over multiple days, multiple tries. I took breaks. I was like... Tried summoning patches, but... He doesn't survive long enough, which is... You know, really the major problem. Alright, we're gonna head back. And then I'm gonna check back to the ruins, because I think that's where he spawns. If he doesn't spawn, fuck it, just move on. Oops. Oh, that's gonna sound lovely. I knocked into the mic stand like an idiot. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah. We know the drill. I'm working towards that 35-35. Oh, and he's gone, and I think he goes... This way? What a patches. He actually sells some interesting things. Can't find him. <coughs> Excuse me. Come on, vape smoke. Thank you. This is where he goes, I think, right? Oh, no. He goes back to... Hawkwood's shield. Yeah, he leaves his shield here. I don't remember where he goes hollow, if he even does. Alright, whatever. Not gonna dwell on that too long. Instead, let's go back to my favorite boss. But first, let's check if this is actually a thing. Alright, I'm gonna find out in... Huh. Weird. I think you, you can find him somewhere. Fuck off, mushrooms. This is a, this is a weird encounter for a black firebomb. It's like... Really? I can't believe that this is the pinnacle of Dark Souls 2 references in Dark Souls 3. Fucking Earthen Peak. Really? Was there ever anyone in the world who enjoyed Earthen Peak? I mean, sure, people, I mean, I don't mind it. It's just kind of a weird choice, but I guess, you know, easy asset to reuse. I'm only joking. Partially, of course. Alright, man. I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready. This boss is gonna kick my ass. It's not gonna be. They're probably not gonna be easy because this is still a fairly, fairly tough boss. Boss is. Kind of represents the pinnacle of Dark Souls 3 boss design, which is. Multiple phase on phase, 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 stacked up on phase, and really all about endurance, you know. Yeah, take the plunge. Who trusts this? Okay, interesting camera. Which one is easier? I think the 
demon from below is the one I have to kill. First. Wait, how does this work? You need to kill both of them, right? Wonderful. As you can see, depth perception is my strongest asset. I mean, they're taking good damage. Okay, how I did this was when they're both active, I just get the fuck out of dodge and... Yeah, because this is like... It's like absolute chaos. But I need to kill this fool first. I mean, this is not going to be a first try boss. I can guarantee you this. I, as you can see, I'm not being like careful with my Estes and all that. Oh yeah, they have that, which is... But this is like some good damage. Eat. Shit. Wait, am I killing the wrong one? I don't remember. That's a problem. And... Oh yeah, that's... That is a big delay on it. Isn't there supposed to be a phase where they're both inactive? There it is. Yeah, we kill... Demon from... Ugh, I don't remember. I really don't want to get the version that's like... All like pyromancy magic and shit and it summons orbs and all that. That one I absolutely loathe. And I think it's this one, right? This is a MKX 50-50, I think. Please, do, you, do you explode? I don't remember if you explode or not. Well, I mean... <clears throat> comparatively to how shitty I played... That wasn't too bad. Of course I'm dealing a metric fuck ton of damage. I don't remember how big this explosion is. It's pretty big. Did I guess right? I don't think I... I don't think I did. This is the shitty one. The one that's like... Oh, I don't know. Oh, man. Look. I'll be able to tell if it... No, this is the correct one. No, it's not. Because it's some of these stupid ass orbs. Which is how you can tell that this is the shitty one. Because these orbs are so cheap. Because essentially, when you think about it. It sets up... I have no idea what the hell is going on. I haven't fought this one, like, really. So I always go for the other one, which is... I guess the demon... in pain is the one we want. Well, I'm out of Estus. It's all good. It's, I mean, I... Knew that it wasn't gonna happen first time around. Wasn't expecting miracles. But hey. Good run? Yeah, good run. I'd say good run. About as good as you can get first time around. I'll try it one more time and then we'll call it a day, I think. So go for the right one first. I think that one is easier to attack too. Straight up. Because the other one has like big attacks. But it's way easier. This one with like... The only way I can call it is like turret shit. You know, that's the real, that's the real kicker. Is 
It's also by far... This is by far, maybe with the exception of Medir, the longest boss fight in the game. I think comparatively these guys have even higher HP than Medir. If you add up all the forms. Yeah, and this is what you gotta do. You can attack the other form as well, just, you know. Make sure not to kill it. Alright. Focus on this one a little bit. No! Oh, yes, yes, yes. Just wanted to get the animation. Oh, shit. That was a... That was a Mr. Sketchhead style survival if I've ever seen one. Did you see my weapon bounce off of something? That was very strange. You gotta be careful with the vape because... Sure is difficult to see. Stop. Stop. <sighs> yes. Thank you. Fuck you. I wanted to survive with more Estus. But... What can you do, really? What can I even use here that would benefit? Nothing. <clears throat> so yeah, this is the less shitty version. From what I remember. I don't remember how big this explosion is. Fuck you. You gotta stick to this guy like a fly on shit. Because he has like this big... What I can only describe as a fuck you laser. If you get hit by the fuck you laser, it's... That's the one. I got hit by the fuck you laser. See, if you manage to run up to him, it actually isn't too bad. Because uh, he still keeps doing the attack and you have like a ton of time. To, you know, hit him. Just, I gotta get better at the first phase. So, yeah. Still enjoying this boss, I say sarcastically. Uh, I've always, not gonna lie, um, this is my least favorite DLC boss. Um, aside from like the really cheap Dark Souls 2 ones, but... Yeah, I, I, I don't like this boss. I know some people like it, but I am not a fan at all. I think the fact that the third phase has such an insane amount of HP and defenses is just ridiculous. After fighting a two-phased, ridiculously ag aggressive boss, well, you know, it's whatever. We got to get through this. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.